Hello. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> in this video, we try to see what are the things that you control in a trade. Okay? It means when you trade, when you buy uh, a stock or whatever. So, you control a lot of things. Okay? And there are things that <clears throat> that you can't control. Okay? We try to go <clears throat> through them one by one and we try to see. Okay. Now, first, I just give you an example. You, <clears throat> you want to buy a stock XYZ. Okay? So, it's for example, let's say $10. $10 a share. And for example, you buy 100 shares. Okay? 100 shares is it's called a lot because usually when you all the people when they want to buy they buy 100 shares 200 300 1000 some people if they have no money they can buy one share or two or ten or whatever you want now this is the trade what are the things before you buy this stock what are the things that you control in any trade Okay, in any trade that you do, in any trade. Okay? First, let's say first, you control the stock, which stock you want to buy. Okay? You have thousands of stocks in the stock market. Thousands. So, you, you choose you control what you what you buy okay so either you buy uh, banking uh, stock or you buy internet stock or buy mining stock or wherever you want to buy or insurance stock wherever you want to buy this you are free okay so you are free to buy wherever stock okay and you can buy wherever stock you want and second, you can control in which sector or industry. Okay, let's see. Sector or industry. For example, you take um, um, internet. as an industry and you choose for example a sector like let's say um, uh, internet provider if you don't know what's this please go online and put internet industry or internet sector and you will see what are the stocks that go uh, with it okay so you control the you control your stock. It means you are free to buy whatever stock. There are thousands of stocks in the USA. It means companies in the USA or companies all over the world in China, in Japan, wherever in Europe, whatever stock that you want, and you buy it. So you are free. You control what you buy. Now, sector industry. It means you choose your uh, your industry and you choose your sector. Okay, you are free. No one obliges you to, to buy only in these sectors. Okay, if you, you want, for example, you want internet, you go to internet. If you want banking, you go to banking. If you if you want just in, insurance stocks, insurance, okay, etc. Okay, it means you control this. Now, of. Uh, Let's say, what's the thing that you can, um, okay, another number three, you, you control how long you stay in the trade, okay, you control how long, how long you stay in the trade, for example, you say to yourself, in this company, 
I, I do my research from the mountains, I do everything and I know that this company is very good company and I will buy it for many years, okay? So, for how long? For a year or more or for some months, weeks or day, like when you are a day trader, okay? A day trader, for example, you buy in the morning after five minutes, ten minutes, one hour, two hours, and then you sell it. Okay, this is how long you you uh, hold the, the stock. So you are free. Okay, no one obliges you to say, okay, um, uh, you should get out from this uh, from this stock wherever it goes down and you keep it. Okay, or it goes up and you keep it. So no one obliges you. Okay, this is very good. Um, now, when we see how long, there is uh, something that we'll add. It's about tax. For tax. Because if you hold uh, the stock for more than one year, if you have the stock, you hold it for more, more than one year, so what will happen? The tax will be less. I think it's... Uh, it's like 15%. Okay? But if you hold the stock less than one year, so your tax, when you have a profit, the tax is like an income tax. Okay? It could be, it could be uh, 25% maybe. So here, here there is a problem. That's why the people who have too much money in some big companies and these companies are doing good, they, they have less tax than you who are having little money and you don't keep or you don't hold the, um, you don't hold the stock for long. Okay? So you are paying more tax than them. That's why most of the time the rich, they, they pay less tax. Because they choose to stay longer, okay? You, you just gain, go into a trade one day, two days, one week, one month, two months, six months, tw like until eight months, nine, okay? You stay that short and you, you sell your, uh, your stock, either with loss or with profit. If it is profit, they, they will take 25% of your money, uh, of the uh, profit that you make, okay? So if you hold more than one year, it's uh, 15%. Now, this is number four. Um, uh, now, uh, there is five, which is expenses. Expenses here, we just mean commission. Commission. Now, how commission? You control commission. It means... How how I explain this commission? I will I will write it here on the top, which is number five. For example, your commission is let, let's say it's five dollars a day. It's five five dollars for buying and five dollars for selling. So you lose in a trade. You lose $10 each time you buy any sell. Okay? Now, see this. It's $10. Suppose that you, you are very active. These commissions, it will be so high. But you, you don't see it as high because you say, oh, it's just $5. It's not $5 only. $5 and $5 is $10. This is one trade. Suppose you do... You are very active, you do 10, 20, 30, or 40, or 50 trades. Okay? So, 10 trades is $100. And $100 from our account, especially when we have small accounts, it's too much money. Okay? Another thing about this. Uh, think about the commission another way. If you buy one share okay and you buy 1000 shares 
They are the same. Okay? In terms of commission, they are the same. Because they charge you, for example, five dollars, five dollars. They charge you five dollars for buying, you buy, and you sell. Okay? So either you buy one or you buy one thousand share is the same. Okay? So this is commissions. Try to be careful of commissions. So you control commission. Okay? Buy not being active in, in, the, in the market. It means you don't buy that much as always. For example, you buy in a week or two, you buy one trade. Okay? You do one trade or two. But if you do 10, 20, 30, here you control your commission. It is as you like. You want to spend more money on commissions or you want to do something else. Okay? So, there is another thing I will add about commission is... You, you can choose another broker, another broker, because brokerage firms, they are not the same, okay? If uh, a broker is very, very famous, they can charge until $20 for, for buying or selling, but some, they can charge you only $1 or less, okay? They charge you only one dollar for the trade, for buying and for selling, which is very, very good. Okay, so you can, you you have the freedom to to change your broker. Okay, you find another broker which is very good for you. So you you uh, you you go for this broker, and you close the accounts with the other broker. Okay, so uh, you have the freedom to do the, uh, these things. Now we have seen five things. Um. Uh, and then uh, there is another thing the way or the, the way uh, the way you trade which uh, thing that you use in order to trade for example six these things is like uh, do you just trade stocks do you trade options do you trade futures <coughs> or other, other, other derivatives or you, you, uh, for example you have um, um, commodities like, uh, like for example gold, silver and the other stuff or corn or other. So, so you choose how to trade. Okay, either you buy stocks, you buy options, you buy futures, commodities, and uh, we have other, other stuff you can buy. Okay, or you buy bonds. It means this, you are free. Okay, it means you, you can buy whatever you want. Now, all these six things that you can control, okay, you are free to do whatever you want. Okay, so all these are the good things. That you can control. I can buy stock, I can buy option, I can buy futures, I can buy wherever I want. Bonds, commodities, whatever you want. Now, there is only one thing that you do not control. One thing that you don't control. Okay? So, so in your so in your opinion, what's the thing that you don't control? Okay, the thing that you don't control is the return on your trade or investment, and this is the most. Important, uh, important thing in trading and investing, you don't know what will happen to the future, in the future, okay? So, if you, are, if you say to me that this, you are, sure, you are sure of, you know that the stock will go up tomorrow, okay? Take all your wealth, sell your house, bring all your money of your friends, grandfather and mother, all your money 
and put it in one trade and see tomorrow if it go up okay you will make a big chunk of money okay but since people they don't know and no one knows okay what will happen tomorrow or in the future so this thing you don't control you don't control your turn maybe you you buy for example a stock with ten dollars ten dollars tomorrow we have bad news about the company or uh, someone is shorting the stock tomorrow you come in the morning okay and you find it's one dollar you you don't believe that it is one dollar and you see that it is one dollar and then you see that you lost almost your money okay you don't believe you think that there is something which is sure you are sure about that will happen okay so to solve this problem okay this is the only problem in trading and investing this is the only problem which is you don't control the return profit or loss okay you, you don't control now for the profit is very good the stock you buy ten dollars is going up this is excellent now I will give you a solution to the loss now if you leave the stock for example you buy ten dollars you put a line like this and it's going down now what you you can control which is very very important is how much you can lose okay for example if it's going down little by little nine eight five three two one okay suppose that we are, it goes from ten to one in few days few days for example one week your stock is ten dollars and it goes to one okay now what you can do in order to stop the loss this is trading a good trading a professional doesn't let ten dollars to go to one dollar what does he do what the professional do is to do a stop loss you stop this trade and you go and you and you see another opportunity and you and you forgot about this stock because it's going down and you lose a lot of money okay so this is um, like six ways I, I, I spoke about um, uh, five or six about the thing that you control and there's only one thing that you don't control which is the return either you have a, a profit or a loss okay so if you have any question about this uh, maybe I have forgotten some something to add about things that you control and um, and things that you don't control but for me uh, this is the thing that I am thinking of if you have other other stuff please uh, just write back thank you very much and have a nice day bye